Alright guys, welcome to What If Frieza Was A Good Guy. Now, this series will be pretty interesting, considering that, how am I going to do a good guy Frieza? There's many ways I can do this, but I think I have an idea, and his potential might be a bit limited in this, because I don't want to be too overpowered, and this is going to be like a really serious what if, so just enjoy the ride. With all that being said, let's get to it. It's been a few years since Frieza was born. Frieza was unlike his father. But he didn't want his father to know. If his father knew he had a good heart, he would never inherit the empire. His plan was to inherit the empire, kill his father, and turn it into a peaceful empire. An empire that maintains peace and prosperity and betters the lives of the planets that are under it. One that doesn't simply wipe people out and sell it for a profit. His job was to take care of planets, not destroy it. He knew he had to do it. But he would get his opportunity one day as King Cold and Frieza would go to pl planet Vegeta to announce Frieza is now the new emperor. As Frieza was announced emperor, he could see snipers all aiming around him. Frieza just smirked at King Vegeta and said, you know, put those snipers down before I do it myself. As he raised up his fingers, threatening to kill them all, King Cold was proud. It seemed like Frieza was just as ruthless as him. He was worried. Frieza always seemed cold-hearted, but he didn't know if he had the battle sense or the ruthlessness. But seeing this, he knew he could leave the hands of Frieza. However, Frieza was just acting. In truth, he was excited to see that King Vegeta was defiling King Cold. That means he wants to get rid of him, so they have a common enemy. He really doesn't want to kill his father, but he knows he has no choice. His father is pure evil, and the only one who can compare to him in power. So to turn the empire into an empire of justice, he has to get rid of King Cold. As King Cold left, Frieza would ask to speak to King Vegeta privately. As they spoke, Frieza would look up at him and say, I know you want to get rid of King Cold. And probably me too, am I right? King Vegeta looked at him and said, No, I would never get rid of you. You are... Cut the crap. I know the truth. But that's okay. I have, a I have a proposition for you. King Vegeta would look up and say, What's that? You see, King Cold is a threat to my rule and a threat to the universe. So, I feel I should wipe him out. However, you need some incitement. What if I make this saying some of my right-hand men? Make them the chosen people of my empire. The chosen race of warriors that I lead in the battle myself. King Vegeta was shocked. He never expected such respect. To be honest, he wanted freedom not to be under anyone. And greater autonomy sounds nice, but it would be better just to be free in general. However, that wasn't an option. And the Saiyans could get way more respect and prestige and all live better lives. Him included. Also, he could get more respect under Frieza. So, with all that being said, he decided to agree. After all, with King Cold dead, maybe they could find a weakness to kill Frieza. Frieza would agree, as Frieza would build state-of-the-art gravity chambers for the Saiyans to all train in to get stronger. And as they trained, Frieza began to plot to kill King Cold. As a couple years would pass, King Cold wouldn't suspect anything. Saiyans would be getting stronger in the gravity room, way stronger. However, they didn't know about Super Saiyan and things like that, so they weren't insanely powerful. But they were strong enough. Frieza finally thought it was time to kill King Cold. And Frieza was doing wonderfully. He was playing the part. Whenever King Cold was around, whenever people were around, he would play the part as a villain. But in private, he was nice to the people he controlled. In private, he was nice to the people under him. And they wouldn't forget that. Beers even met him a couple times. And he met his evil persona, but he could see straight past it. He saw Frieza was pretending to be evil. So he can pull off something of his own. Beers was intrigued. But since he sensed he was a good hearted, he knew he wouldn't try to kill him. And even if he did, he was a god of destruction. So he decided just to let watch. However... It was finally time for Frieza to kill King Cold. As King Cold was invited over to talk to his son, he wanted to talk business and get some tips from him. King Cold was proud, and he wanted to give tips to his little boy. 
However, when he walked onto the planet, something was wrong. It was barren, everyone was evacuated, and suddenly a bunch of giant apes would go by, Saiyans, as they all blasted at King Cold. King Cold's guard was down, so as he raised up the block, he would take some considerable damage. He would get up and fly towards the great apes, ready to kill him, but then Frieza in his final form would appear, punching him down to the ground. He would begin to laugh, your guard was completely down. We learned a technique how to hide our energy. <laughs> With that beat up body, you cannot stand in my way. Now turn around, change your evil ways, father. Go away and never be seen again. And give up all your assets you got and investments into mercenaries who wipe out planets. King Cole would look up at him and go, are you insane, son? I would never do that. And I'm ashamed of you. What is this? I understand if you want to kill me to better your own influence, but don't pretend you're a goody two-shoes. Frieza would smirk and walk towards him and say, Come on, I've always been like this. I've always cared about people. I'm sure deep down you knew. You just didn't want to admit it because of your pride. Kinko would yell, Why you? As he charged, and they both began the battle. But with all the great apes on Frieza's side, King Cole didn't stand a chance. He took more and more and more damage. It was clear he was going to die, but he had to get his revenge, even though he couldn't get it. Personally, he knew someone else could get it. Frieza was good because he was pampered. He lived a comfortable life, and that got him to be soft, and it got his heart to soften. King Cold made a mistake. He should have introduced him to hard conditions like he had growing up. He should have made his heart become bitter, but he can do this again with another son. King Cole was only going to have one shot at this. He was running low on energy, and he wasn't going to have enough for long. So he blasted the planet, not enough to destroy it, but enough to damage it, and for him to get some ground away. And as he flew away, he began to scream as his skin began to shed, and he threw it up into the space. As he looked up, breathing heavily, he fell to the floor. He used up all of his energy doing this. As his skin began to fall off his body, he molted like a lizard and he threw his skin up into space as hard as he could. As it went up into space, it began to form, slowly creating cooler. King Cold fell to the floor and began to breathe heavily as he couldn't move anymore. Frieza walked up to him, but he realized something. He didn't have any skin. He was in his molted form. Frieza would say, you did it. King Cold would laugh and say, that's right. Our kind only molts to give birth to a new kid. <laughs> Your brother will kill you. He will be born in the harsh conditions of space, and he'll know no love, no kindness, only war, only violence, and this will turn him into a hard warrior who can kill you. I'll admit, I got cushy myself and got soft, and that's why I'm gonna die. But that's the same reason you're gonna die, because of that good, soft heart. Frieza said, shut up, father as he kicked King Cole to the ground. You know it's not too late to, what, change my evil ways, oh please. Don't give me that spiel. Besides, you would make sure my power was limited, even if I did take your offer. So just kill me already. Frieza would say, hmm. All right, father, as you wish. Frieza would then shoot a death beam right into King Cole's skull, killing him instantly as King Cole fell onto the ground dead. Frieza sighed. He was a coward. He would have begged for his life, but he didn't. He truly knew that if he would have took his offer, he would never be the same. And for the first time ever, King Cold didn't beg for his life when he was scared. King Cold accepted his fate. Frieza sighed. As he looked up, it was time to get to work. Frieza would give the Saiyans greater autonomy, and they would become the warrior race, the defenders of the Empire and the Frieza Force would then ally with the Galactic Patrol. And Goku would never be sent off to, to Earth. Instead, he would be with Vegeta's crew. But Broly would still get exiled. King Vegeta would be threatened by Broly, and he would fear that the Saiyans would respect him more and use him to go back to the old way, so he exiled him in secret. Things would be going nicely for the Saiyan race. However, not everything was peaceful. Cooler would land on Earth, and as he got up, merely a little child, 
Grandpa Gohan looked and saw the alien. He was ready to take care of it. But as he extended out his hand, Cooler simply punched him in the gut, his fist going through his stomach. Then he pulled out, and as Grandpa Gohan fell to the floor, Cooler began to eat him. Humans were not friends. Humans were just food to him. Cooler needed to get stronger. He needed to get more powerful so he can complete his purpose. The purpose of killing Frieza and taking the Empire for himself. And that's where we're going to leave things off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it. And yeah, first off, I know Cooler is Frieza's older brother. And I know there might have been some problems here and there. But this Frieza being good is very unlikely. So don't take this what if seriously. It's not meant to be a serious what if. It's supposed to be entertaining. You're supposed to enjoy it. It's not meant to be 100% accurate, okay? Accurately, Frieza would just train and get rid of every single threat ever. And then there'll be no story whatsoever. So yeah, we have to do it like this. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed it.